it was between the attorney and the mayor. Uh, and the attorney and the mayor did not earn this trophy. Maybe the two of us combined together could swim the length of a swimming pool. But the young man I'm going to introduce now, James, why don't you come on up? Well, he's small, but he's mighty. I'll tell you that right now. Come on over here where everybody can see you. Proclamation recognizing James Savage. And the proclamation will say it all, and then I'll talk a little bit about that afterwards. Whereas, on August 22nd, oh, let's get the rest of the, where's everybody else? Fantastic. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, stand right there. On August 22nd, 2015, James Savage, along with 500 athletes, competed in the 35th annual Alcatraz Escape from the Rock uh, Durathlon and successfully swam 1.5 miles between Alcatraz Island and the Aquatic Park in San Francisco. You see any sharks? Okay, good. <laughs> good, good, good. I'm happy. Whereas James Savage, at eight years of age, was the youngest participant and placed first in his age division with a time of 57 minutes, 46 seconds. And whereas James Savage is part of the Las Vegas Swimmers, head coach, uh, excuse me, head coached by Josh Weinberger, is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Who is one of his biggest supporters and who helped him to prepare for this race by his daily training, attention to detail, and constant encouragement. And whereas James Savage did not fear the sharks or the sea life under him, nor the cold water, and believe me, that water is cold, the strong tide or the distance as the head as he swam five times the amount at practice. And whereas James Savage stood up out of the water he received the most cheers of all the swimmers and the many people who were congratulating him and taking pictures with him in amazement at what he had accomplished at such a young age. Now therefore be it proclaimed that the mayor and city council and members of the city of Los Banos do hereby congratulate James Savage for the extraordinary recognition of placing first place in his age division at the 35th annual Alcatraz Escape from the Rock and commend him for his hard work and determination. I have to tell you that if you've ever been to Alcatraz or you've been to that beach and you wondered why after all the years that Alcatraz has been in existence they think some people escape but they're not sure, they never found them. And this young man, at the age of eight years old, placed first in his division out of all the adults that entered. And he lives here in Los Banos, and we are just so proud of him. <laughs> We're not done yet. Would his family stand up, please? Come on over here. Oh, dear. Okay. Would you like to introduce your family? No? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mom, why don't you do the introductions then? Well, this, okay. is, this is James, this is Madeline, and this is Tyler. Those are his siblings. His father's at work. He couldn't make it. Amazing swim coach Josh is here again. Constant support, constant encouragement. Josh, come on up here. Josh, why don't you a little train? Tell us a little bit about the training uh, routine that you put this young man through in order to get him prepared for this swim. <laughs> um, honestly, I, I don't don't know if I do anything special. I uh, I try to tailor the workouts to the kids and their abilities. 
James is such an amazing individual, though. He doesn't swim with other eight-year-olds. He tends to swim with 10, 12, 14-year-old children because he's at that skill level. Thank you. Thank you for being a citizen of Los Banos, and you continue. I'm sure we're going to hear great things about you. And uh, his, his parents have uh, breakfast at Eddie's uh, Cafe every weekend, and when I'm there, he comes up to me, and he shows me like a trophy a week, every new trophy that he wins. And I'm very honored to be your friend, and so please continue to come up to me and talk to me, okay? All right, James. See you later. Okay. Wait, two more. <laughs> Congratulations, James. Thank you.